Monday. I was very productive yesterday. I finished the 977 dress as much as I was going to finish it. It's currently in my scraps bag. Having watched the footage back, I, I'm still not sure if I like it on me or not. I don't think I did it any favours by not putting a belt on with it and styling it, you know, kind of how I would. But the fabric was just so not nice that just, yeah, it had gotten to the point where it was like, I'm done. <laughs> I am totally done. I'm surprised I put in as much effort with that as, as I did. I think what I might do is get, when my fabric buying ban is over, get something inexpensive, probably a plain, because I think that dress would look really cool in a plain fabric, because that pattern was quite busy as well with all the ruffles and the, you know, bits and pieces going on. Oh, I don't know. I want to like it. I want to like it, but I think, I think that the other thing that I really should do is go and try on something similar, if not the Zimmerman dress, that is inspiring it and see if that silhouette even looks remotely good on me, because it may not. It's not something that I've kind of got in my wardrobe I, I have skirts that are similar but they have very fitted tops so yeah I'm not sure but like I said I'm glad that I tried it because if I hadn't have tried it I'd have been annoyed or I'd always wondered so yeah anyway today I am going to finish off my oh no let's get the number right McCall uh <laughs> get the number right the company wrong the Vogue 9345 shirt dress so I've got the bodice done here which I absolutely love, really, really love it. I have just got the skirt to do, then the buttons and buttonholes and hemming it. I'm also going to level out the hems on the skirt and the dress that are hanging up back here because both of those have been hanging up for a week now and the bias has dropped on both of them. Not massively, but enough that I'm glad that I did it. So I'm gonna try and level those hems out today as well. I've ordered black and white thread because I am on my last tiny little bit of white thread. Fingers crossed I can finish this dress. I may have to do green buttonholes. <laughs> we shall see. I've ordered the black and white thread that I like. I get mine from Tyso. I know a lot of you guys have always asked where I get my thread from. Some of you have bought it, some of you loved it, some of you hated it. So I would recommend that rather than buying the big, because I think they do 60 rolls of different colours for £30, buy one of the smaller packs and see if you like the thread or not. I personally, it's it's what, I bought my machine from Tyso, it's the thread that they recommended. I like it, mum hates it, I sew everything with it, I even embroider with it because it's kind of a you know it's it's not embroidery thread but it's pretty colors and it works so yeah it's it's not going to be for everybody but anyway that was long-winded waffle, waffle about black and white thread i have bought both and they're on their way which will mean that i can start sewing the 6563 t-shirt as soon as that arrives i've ordered mum's birthday present and it's not arrived yet. Mum's birthday is in a couple of days, so I'm um, fingers crossed that arrives on time. Hopefully, fingers crossed. What else? What else? What else? I think I think that's pretty much it for now. Having watched the footage back as well from the Gertie shirt, I do really like it. But I'm kind of considering maybe even just taking a little bit off of the. I'm gonna leave the um, amaryllis one as is but I'm thinking of maybe just taking a little bit of length out of the sleeves because they are ever so slightly restrictive and I like them that I like the grown on sleeve and I like that it comes slightly um, over my shoulder cap because I think uh, I've been watching a lot of the closet historian recently and she was making the point that enhancing your shoulders makes your waist look smaller but then if you get it too far down it can so uh, it can it can take away from that illusion so i'm thinking i might try trimming it just a little bit i have some amazing fabrics as i said in this particular part of my stash that i'm thinking about going through i also mentioned that i might buy some more of the savannah cotton lawn because i have a remnant left i can't get that shirt out of it because the that shirt has some really strange pieces the the type you know the front piece is big and, and weird because the collar's built in, the tie front's built in, the sleeves are built in. But I was thinking about it, I could either do another one of these, the 6380, or I've got the Butterick 6018, which I've made two of, and that also has a midriff panel and then 
piece you know the fabric pieces above and they're quite small pieces so I was thinking I might try and color block the savannah the, the leftover savannah cotton lawn that I have because I think I can get the top of the 6018 out of it with some linen a chambre that I got from Lady McElroy in a khaki sagey green colour. I think the two of those together would look really really nice but <laughs> I want to carry on the momentum because the, the so the next uh, so, right okay tangent massive tangent my 2021 make nine plans are nine fabrics I have used one, two, I want to say three. What's the third one? I think I've used two of them. No, I'm sure I'd use three of them. Can't even remember what I've made now. <laughs> uh, no, I, mm. So I, yeah, so my make nine plans, I have used the teal boiled wool, which has worked out really well. I have used the poly chiffon that I hate and is now in my scraps bag. <laughs> I was going to use the pink viscose for the line, uh, the skirt of this dress and that didn't work. So I've only used two of my fabrics and I want to use some more. So I was thinking I might try and trace out a couple of new shirt dress patterns because I really enjoy wearing shirt dresses. I really like the notched collar. So I was thinking there's this McCall's pattern I've been threatening to make for the longest time. I have two lengths of Lady McElroy fabric in my Make Nine plans. One of which is the Flamingo Habitat, which was a present from the lovely Nancy. I definitely want to make a shirt dress with that. And I was gonna make the 8577 and then try and get a little Gertie shirt out of the remnants. But I'm thinking I might try a different shirt dress, which is shocking, I know. I think I have six of the 8577s now and I love them. I absolutely love them and the giant pockets. So I'm not 100% ruling it out, but I don't know. And then the hydrangea story fabric that I got from the very lovely Jennifer for my birthday last year. I know I want to make a strappy tiered skirt sundress out of that. So I'm thinking I probably ought to try and work through my Make 9 fabrics before I start on things like the Savannah dress that I was talking about earlier. When I was putting together my Make 9, I came up with the idea of making a collection out of the fabric. So that was a way of... of getting through it and you know actually getting it done and then I enjoyed the concept so much I actually came up with two collections and the second collection was based around the savannah fabric so I probably ought to get the pink and turquoise one done and then move on to the savannah fabrics absolutely horrible outside it's been peeing down with rain all morning so it's all overcast <laughs> It's nearly June. What's going on? Now the weather, I've got fluffy hair as well. I decided not to try and straighten it because it was just going to get ruined in the in the wet. Now that I've waffled at you for nearly ten minutes about random stuff, I am going to start sewing the skirt of my shirt dress. Then I need to pick some buttons. Wish me luck. Slight change of plans. Our lovely electrician Warren is here and he's adding some extra sockets and things around the sewing room. So at the moment he's working behind my table so I can't get in there. But he's very quick and uh, once that one's done then he'll be the other side of the room so I can get on with the sewing. One eternity later. Okay, our lovely electrician left quite a while ago. Uh, I managed to get in here about two o'clock, I think. I finished the dress and I haven't done any of the hand sewing. So the lining needs to be attached to the waistband on the inside. I need to hem it. I have put on some bias binding. Kind of hoping this one doesn't drop on the bias. The last one didn't. Let me just tip you down a bit so you can properly... I've still got my trousers on underneath. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. I do really, really love this pattern. I had erred on the side of caution because the last time I made it was with the facing. So I French seamed all of the insides. This is the one with the really big sleeves. It fits really well. So this one, I was like, oh, because I've put on a bit of weight recently from all the inactivity, I'm sure. So I thought with this one, because I was lining it, I've seamed everything on the inside with three eighths of an inch seams instead of five eighths of an inch. And it actually was way too big up here. So I've taken it in by half an inch each side. And it fits much, much better now. Much better. I will probably wear this with a belt. I use little coconut buttons, coconut shell buttons, which I think look really pretty. I'm really pleased with it. I... I don't think Dolce & Gabbana did anything shirt dress in this print. I think they were all kind of 
tight bodices, big skirts. I love this pattern, I, it's just, it's a lovely pattern. Like I say, I want to try and work out how to extend the bottom of the bodice pieces to make it into a shirt. I don't want to just put the waist seam in and then put like a small peplum on the bottom from, from this. From my memory, I thought the skirt panels lined up with the bodice panels, but they don't. This is like a half circle skirt, so the my plan for the original, like when I was saying the other day that I was going to do that, didn't work because it wasn't, the pattern wasn't as I remembered. I'm sure there's a way that I can just extend these and then flare out the sides so that I have a little bit the, the room that I need for my hips in a shirt but I absolutely love 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 this bodice so yeah I definitely want to try and make it into a shirt. I have a little bit of this fabric left over like 50 centimeters and then an odd sort of long piece so I haven't got enough to make a little shirt I had three and a half meters to start with wish I'd bought four. It was expensive, it was £24 a metre, so that's why I didn't buy more. Because <laughs> usually I would just buy five metres of whatever fabric, but when it's that expensive I tend to kind of try and buy the exact amount I need, and I over-ordered over by about 50 centimetres. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the rest of it. It's really, it's so fine, so so fine. I'm thinking I might try and use it as panels on a shirt with white cotton lawn, that could look quite cool. I don't know. If you've got any suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. I, <laughs> I'm just, I, I know it wasn't part of my make nine, but I just really wanted to get this fabric sewn up in time for summer, although I don't know if we're gonna have a summer. I've got this fabric out of the stash. This was in the make nine. It's the Michael Miller Bed of Roses Quilted Cotton. And I wanted to make the Vogue 9357, I think I have that number right, but I don't like the bodice of that dress. The, the darts are in a weird place. So I've bought out this Butterick 6244 because the style lines on the bodice of this dress are very similar to the Vogue dress. So it still has the little Dior darts and then the princess seams. It has these extra bits up here whereas the Vogue dress has a yoke going across the front but it would be really easy to merge those two pieces together and put the yoke in if I wanted to. So I'm gonna give this bodice a, ch a try with the Vogue skirt because I love 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 that skirt. I really really love that skirt. I just I can't with the bodice. <laughs> I've made three. The third one I tweak so much to try and get the because basically the darts ended up being really pointy and the darts sit ab about an inch above the apex and I've showed, showed everyone on the pattern, it's not just me having to lower the apex that it says on on the pattern the apex is listed and then the darts an inch above it and I could not get those darts to not be pointy. I'll wear, I will wear the three that I've made but it's just, <laughs> I don't want pointy darts so I'm going to give that Butterick Lisette bodice a try because it's fairly similar in style lines to the other one. We'll see. And then also I have the McCall 6891 out. I've been threatening to make this for ages. I think I should try this with one of my cotton lawns rather than the 8577. Although because it has the neckline that I like, this kind of notched collar. That is a possibility, although making another one of these in that cotton lawn is also a possibility because or just making an 8577 because I really like the 8577 and I wear it frequently so you know it's like one of those things is if eight broke don't fix it so I'm going to as I mentioned earlier I'm going to level out the hems on that skirt and that dress so that I can get the bias binding onto those so that they can be finished by hand and then that's my evening this evening is going to be all of the hand sewing which I may in fact I will take it up to my house to do so that I could keep Chiana company. So I'm glad this and the last shirt that I made have been a success after those two polyester disasters. <laughs> I've ordered my black and white thread so it's been dispatched, hopefully it'll arrive tomorrow if not the day after so I can finish off the McCall 6563 in the black viscose that I've got cut out over there. Hopefully that will work and then I can make a whole bunch of those as well. Very happy with this. I I very much like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> I have leveled the hem of my skirt and dress and sewn on the bias binding so I'm now going to 
take it all back up to my room and start hand hemming everything and hanging out with Chi because I haven't seen her for a, a while. She's um, <laughs> she talked to you again. Yeah, she's gone from having me in the room with her pretty much permanently to like not seeing me at all so I get sat on a lot when I'm there which is lovely so I'm gonna go see if I can sew and keep Chi company at the same time. Mm -hmm.